G-I-O-N. G-I-O-N. It spells pollution. <sighs> Looks just like the cat sitting on the table, so I looked at it and I... All right. It's not Gabby. I was about to knock the fucker off. And I said, oh, no, take care of that. So put it on someplace where it's going to be safe. Oh. Hmm. And I went to the toilet. Just took a pee. I'm standing in the mirror afterwards. Uh, washing my hands. What do you think I had there? And it reminded me, November 16th, it's my dad's, my granddad's, my mom's fake dad's birthday today. He died, or the day he died. I think it was his birthday. Either way, if it was his birthday, it freed him from that dark realm. If it was his death day, it freed us from him. Why would this thing on my head make me think him? Uh, well, up there in the cabin with the dirt floor and the fucking wood stove that would eventually burn the place down. Um, and he's sitting there, get me a ladle of water. Go clean that corner. Uh, go clean that corner. And sit there, squatted over in the corner, cleaning the corner here. Well, say, hey, 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 hey. No, that didn't really happen. Not to me. I've heard stories about the girls. It's just something that I have to talk about. I've said it before, I feel sorry for anybody that loves their grandparents. I really do, because you're only really likely to see them die. It's not like your parents, you, you're you just getting old enough to get fucked up enough that you can get yourself killed off before they even get a chance to fucking die, but grandparents, they just get old. <coughs> Sometimes we don't have to let them go. They let us go. They die and free us from their existence. And you say, oh, I was at the bowling alley, my mom's bowling night. And uh, he was over in the hospital. I guess she was doing what she could do to, you know, make herself forget. But I don't know. It's not her dad anyway, as far, as far as she knows it is, but uh, who gives a shit? You're caring about a stranger now? It's because he wouldn't touch her. That's, that's my guess. Because he was afraid, afraid of old Jack down the road. Come touch my girl. I'll beat your ass, I'll fucking murder you, I'll put you in one of those trucks you got fucking parked in the back with however many other people in there that you put there. I'll put you with your fucking victims. That was always my guess. But yeah, she came up to me, and I was just, you know, like 10, 12. And she comes up and she says, oh. Grandpa died. She said, go tell your brother. And my brother and my cousin, they they were down at the community center. So we're going from over by Subway, where Subway is now. And, uh, oh, the same building. And I just went right over to the youth center where there was open, open courts. And my brother and his friends, they'd play basketball. So I remember running through the winter. It might have been today that he died. I don't fucking know his birthday. How would I? It is November 16th means something. And I remember just running and running and running and thinking, Grandpa died, Grandpa died, Grandpa died, Grandpa died. But really it wasn't about getting there to tell him that Grandpa died. 
I was just happy to have an excuse to run. I'm running through the dark of night in the winter in Gaylord, Michigan. How many years following people saw me walk in the streets muttering to myself or running or crashing into things, always moving at a high rate of speed. It was part of my meaning in life to make people in Gaylord go, what the fuck is that? Sometimes we have to question what the fuck is that to take a moment of silence when nobody's looking and saying, how much of that is me? And we're all connected. And uh, so I'm running, ha, ha, T-I-O-N, T-I-O-N, grab it, grab it, grab it. I get the community center, go run and ha, ah, and there's my oldest brother, the one that loves me, the one I love, the one that loves me. He's playing basketball and he sees me come around and I'm like, ha! Ah. <laughs> and I wasn't, ha! Ah. I just looked like that because I was running. And, yeah, and my cousin, huh? And I said, Grandpa died! And it was like an announcement. And he's like, oh! And then, you know, I don't really remember much after that. It's a simple thing, I didn't fucking care about the guy. And then my sister hugging me, uh, uh, this little guy crying on me, you know, at the funeral, and I'm me, I'm just sitting there 10, 12 years old going, who fucking cares? I'm sorry, sometimes we may carry an empty with emptiness with us throughout our entire lives that uh, that frees us to reason. Who fucking cares? He had plenty of time. I've never really heard a good story about him. He was an artist, but you know how perverted artists are. Everybody fucking crying constantly. I feel so sorry for people who love their grandparents. Could have done away with that if you'd have just followed my death at 50 plan. You make a party out of it.